Hi, this is Tanner with Complete Speech. Today I want to discuss how Valviz can be used in therapy for dysarthria and to demonstrate some exercises used in dysarthria therapy. In a previous video, I discussed and demonstrated a few exercises for apraxia therapy. While apraxia and dysarthria can both produce delayed or slurred speech, dysarthria-induced miscoordination is not limited to speech. Because individuals with dysarthria experience coordination issues with non-speech tasks, there are different types of exercises and therapies available. Today, however, I want to show how visual feedback from valves can reinforce speech-motivated oral coordination. Both of the exercises that I'm going to talk about today focus on tongue and jaw coordination. There are some similarities between the two exercises for dysarthria and the ones that I discussed previously for apraxia, but the exercises that I'm discussing today focus simply on increasing oral coordination in the context of speech, as opposed to increasing the level or complexity of the type of language being used. The first exercise that I want to demonstrate emphasizes tongue and lip coordination by practicing pairs of single vowels, both front vowels and back vowels. I'll go ahead and turn on my microphone. E and U, O and A and A. With the first two, the E and A are front unrounded vowels. The U and O are back rounded vowels. So when speakers transition between these two sounds, they must pull their tongue back and round their lips and when they transition to the front, they must advance their tongue and unround their lips. E, U, A, O. With A and A, speakers do not have to take lip rounding into consideration, but still have to advance and retract their tongue. A, 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 A. As speakers practice these drills, vowel viz visualizes the transition of the speaker's tongue from front to back vowels. The second exercise involves jaw and tongue coordination, specifically raising and lowering the jaw and tongue. Again, here we are dealing with pairs of specific vowels that have contrasting characteristics. A, U, A, E. Each of these vowel pairs includes one high and one low vowel. I call these four vowels the cardinal vowels. They are produced in the highest, lowest, farthest forward, and farthest back parts of our mouths. First, practice lowering the jaw and slowly raising the jaw and the tongue. Ah. Valvis reinforces that movement visually as the tracking ball will reflect the raising and lowering of the tongue and jaw to create these sounds. As individuals progress, you can begin crisscrossing the sounds as well. I, As coordination improves, individuals can start practicing quick transitions and can get really clear transitions. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh. Ah, ee, ah, ee, ah, ee. Ah, ee, ah, ee, ah, ee, ah, ee. Valvis provides meaningful visual feedback of speech that reinforces oral coordination and speech therapy. Valviz is a useful tool for helping individuals who want to see their speech, improve articulation, and coordination. Thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful and look for our other upcoming clippets about Valviz, Vowels, and R.